Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are back live and today's live I'm going to be finishing up some projects that I really need to do. <laughs> um, so I made these little envelopes last week and let me see here. Okay. So I made these envelopes last week and um, they're super cute. Uh, I started off putting these little flowers on them like this. And then I decided I'm going to use these little hearts. I hope I put them in the bag. What do I do with the hearts? Gosh darn it, the hearts. Okay, so, and then I was going to glue them down like that. And that's what's going to hold them down. Hey, Art in the City. Just like that. Isn't that cute? So, I made a bunch of these <clears throat> last week live. And I'm going to try and make some more today. I already have them. These are not cut out, but I already have them cut up. Um, I have worked on some. They need to be finished. Like, I need to glue them down. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing today. This, and then I have some other stuff. Ugh, I have so much stuff to do. <laughs> I have so much stuff to do. Okay, so look how many envelopes. I don't think I'm going to get them all done, but maybe I'll get a few done today. Maybe I'll put down six of these to get done today. <laughs> I need to get a lot more of them done, but we'll start with six. I can do a little bit of everything, so I can get this journal done next week anyways. Hey, Dakota. I have so much... <laughs> So I also made these embellishments last week. So I was thinking, I think they fit on these envelopes. You know, like this, just like real cute. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did here. Where I, um, I think I'm going to do the heart later. And I think I'm going to glue that on because that's a little bit hard to get right on the right spot when you're doing this. So, we'll do that later. But I'm going to sew like this. The little flap here has this fancy little set you. I've been sick so late. Don't worry. It's okay. I understand. Um, so, I did a little bit of fancy stitching here. Straight stitching around. Then I did glue down something in the middle. So, I'm going to be doing that. But today I'm going to be working with these die cut embellishments that I made last week. So let me set those off to the side. And we are going to, cause that's not gonna go on until the end. Normally I would sew it on, but I'm just going to glue it on. So let's start with sewing. Let me get down to the level of my sewing machine here. Oops, going down. Okay. Okay, and I always show off my sewing machine. I have the Brothers Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125 uh, PRW. <laughs> and this is my little, my little sewing machine here. So, let's get to this. Let me get a little extra light over here. Stretch this over. Oh, and I don't have that light turned on. It's okay. It's pretty lit. It's pretty lit up in here. Okay, so we have these envelopes that I'm going to be working on. And I have turquoise thread in there. And that's okay since the color scheme of these kind of is turquoise. Maybe I'll do half of them in pink. We'll see. We will see how I feel. So... I know what is the top and the bottom because I need to know so that I can decorate the flap at the top because I rounded the corners. I rounded the corners for the flaps at the tops and the flaps at the bottom. So that way I know what is what. So I need to sew all the way around here. 
Let me get this a little bit closer to me. <laughs> and I'm using the straight stitch, and I always start right about here. Oh, and I'm going to use straight stitch. And I'm going to use the long, the longest setting that I can. And actually, if you didn't know, this is uh, two pieces of book paper glued together. Okay, I hope everybody is having a good Friday. I appreciate you guys joining me today. It feels so early for me. <laughs> Oops, got out of hand there. I think I'm going too fast because it's getting out of line. And I'm usually so good at this. <laughs> so I have been um, watching Project One Right all night. I don't get the new season, so I'm rewatching the old ones. <laughs> And that has been just lovely. Okay, so this is how I sew the envelopes. I sew it this way, and then I'm going to outline this way. And that way it has a nice little outline all the way around that I really, really like. Okay, here we go. Just need to make sure that I am aligned here. And then you go a little bit slower. Since these lines right here are practically invisible to me. Oops, they went one step too far. So we just align ourselves again. Again, I went one step too far. There we go. Okay. So this takes a while, but I think it looks really cute. And when you fold it, it just looks really adorable with all the stitching on it. And I like the frame that it makes here. So now we're going to make a fancy little design up here on the flap. And I think I'm going to use that nice little scalloped edge I like to use, which is number 65. Let me show you the settings, if you can see it. Nope, now you can't. <laughs> so I'm going to number 65 and I'm going to use a length of three and the can stay the same. I just don't want to puncture too many holes because this is book paper. Hey Chronic Crafter. Thanks for joining us today. Lovely to see you here. Oh, you're lurking. <laughs> nice. I need a. <sighs> I really need to organize my office. And maybe the only, the only way I'll get it done is if I do it live. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but really, I do need to clean my office. It's a mess. I just I need shelves, and I need to go get some shelves. Okay. So here we go, we have the little envelope that I just did some nice sewing on. And now I'm going to find one of these little embellishments that fits kind of in the middle of this. This one would be cute. So let me get my glue. So I like to use my 
Turbo Tacky Glue from Eileen's. And if you guys want to know everything that I use in the video is going to be linked at the very end um, in the description below. And you guys can check it out. Or at least see exactly what brand it is that I'm using. So we're all on the same page. That's what I ended up deciding. I wanted to craft, but I can't put it off. So yeah. Well, I'm lucky enough that I have like a million desks in my craft space. So I'm kind of a brat and I'll kind of keep this one clean. <laughs> I'll keep one clean so that I can always craft and then the rest of them can be a mess. I need more. I think I need to switch one of the desks out instead for more storage though. I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, just putting in a little, a little bit of glue here. That's what I'm saying. I need to go check out um, the the links. How I, I need I need to have my people talk to their people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, have at it. How are you? What was your name again? Remind me one more time. And Chronic Crafter, if you want to tell me your name, you can tell me your name, or I could just keep calling you Chronic Crafter. I can learn a couple of people more, a couple more people's names. So far, I learned one. Angela. Okay, Angela. Oh, Joetta. Okay, Joetta. That's right. Okay, Joe and Angela got it. Now I remember Joanna. Okay, so here's the little envelope I just made. So I have a couple more to do. Hey, Kelly, thanks for joining me. We're just over here working on some little things I need to work on. I'm going to go ahead and clip the, I don't know if this is going to work. Ooh, it'll work over here. Okay. I'm going to clip these together so I, everything here glues together. I guess I could put two of them. Ooh, they're not long enough. <laughs> okay. So here's the next one we got. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been having a freaking read what this thing says before I use them. I didn't know I picked weird books. Should have paid attention. Okay, so let's sew this up now. You hit up Hobby Lobby today. What is the special at Hobby Lobby today? Let me know. Yeah, for bad language and just weird subjects that I didn't think I had to worry about. Wait, whoops, I am doing the wrong stitch. Whoops, that is the wrong stitcherini. Oh no. Where's my seam ripper? Oh well, I'll we'll just have to start over. I am doing a straight stitch now. And I put the length at the longest on number five and the width is normal because it's just straight stitch. 75% um, off a lot of stuff. Do they have 75% off paper pads? Did they? Did they? Did they? I 
I have been in the mood lately about paper pads. I don't know why. But I have been. I bought a couple paper pads yesterday. I didn't show them. I probably could. I could go grab them. Paper pads are 50% off as long as it's studio brand paper. Hmm. Well, that's an everyday savings. I can always get that. Okay, so here's this. Like Michael's yesterday, I went and everybody was talking about how great of a deal they got. But when I went, there was only like two paper pads left. And then a bunch of paper pads that were just cardstock. And I really don't need cardstock. So I only ended up buying one paper pad. But I did get it at 90%. So that was pretty cool. Let me see. Okay, I need to go back just a little bit. Here we go. Okay, perfect. I bought quite a lot of Tim Holtz stocked up for the year. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. Here's this envelope that I just sewed up. Let me go show you the paper pads that I got yesterday. <clears throat> I already put one away, I think. I got two paper pads. Here it is. So I went to Michael's and I got this one right here. It's called Sprig and Bow. I don't even know what that is. I don't, I don't even know how. I've never even seen that word in my life. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But yeah, this is, that's what it's called. And the only ones that were on sale are the ones here that were called Hot Buys. I didn't see it say Recollections. So if those were on sale, I didn't see that sign. And I went by the paper pads. So this is the paper pad. And it has really pretty papers, which I thought were still neutral. It has a little bit of rose gold foil on it. Oh no, look how pretty this paper is though. That's really cute. It's just like a neutral light pink. I love rose gold too, right? Look at this. It's got a little bit of rose gold foil on it. Really pretty. Just a little neutral patterns that are cute. More rose gold foil. And like this little flower here is really cute. So I think maybe this is like another like floral journal of course and then i went to that's the only one i bought at michael's and then i got this one at joann's which i'm sure i this one is probably gonna be at on amazon i can tell because these must be like exclusive to michael's or something because they don't sell oh this is recollection they don't sell them online on amazon anyways So I have this one, and I know this one I'll be able to link down below. Um, and I got this one at Joann's, and it's just really pretty um, neutral paper. Um, nice and neutral colors. Let 
and it's white on the back, so I can print out maybe ephemera on it. Isn't that pretty? It has some awesome, awesome things I know I can do with this. So I thought this would be perfect for a lot of projects. A lot of projects, it would go very well, very neutral. This one is DCWB. DCWV. <coughs> Excuse me. And it says the maps, text, and ledger stack. Junk with Steph. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys for joining me today. I'm just showing off the paper pad that I bought at Joann's and the paper pad that I bought at uh, Michael's yesterday. Look at this. And then it has a bunch of ledger papers here in the front. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. So those are my two new paper pads. I need to stop buying paper pads because I have so much stuff to work with. But maybe it'll be nice to alternate and not have to use the same paper pad over and over. But again, I don't, I don't want to just keep buying paper pads and not using them up. So I'm going to try and use them up <laughs> as much as possible. Okay. So we are back to sewing and I need to sew the fancy little part of the envelope here. And for this, I think I'm going to do the little loop-de-loop. -loop. So that's number 75. And we're going to do a length of 2.5 on that. Daisy, when you send us the thing for the design team, will you send it in JPEG, please? Yes. Yeah, I do that. Okay, so here is this little envelope. And I just put this fancy little uh, stitching on there, a little loop-de-loops. That's going to look real cute. Okay, so we have this. And I don't know if this fits. It does. It does fit. <laughs> I just need to rip just a little bit off here. Just a little bit off. <laughs> okay. So let's glue this on here. I think I need to get my jumbo paper clips out. Just really want to make sure that this does cl close or that it does glue shut I should say <laughs> on all sides where I put the glue <clears throat> and hopefully using this quick drying glue from Eileen's sponsor me <laughs> Daisy I love when broadcast in the afternoon oh oh goodness that is a little late for you isn't it <laughs> sometimes I can and when I can I'm here <laughs> perfect this little thing right here this little project and I made these um, envelopes if you guys didn't see me using my mini tag punch board where is it oh my gosh Where's my tag punch board? I don't see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's gone. It's not where it should be. I really need to clean this place up. <laughs> I use my We Are Memory Keepers punch board. They dried up. That dried up pretty well. I guess it'll work here too. Okay, so here we go on to the next one. 
And we are going to do our straight stitch first, all the way around. And we'll do a straight stitch on the longest setting. Gotta finish up some tags. I have a lot of those I gotta finish up, but of course I'll do a couple. <laughs> so you guys see everything that I'm doing. And so that I have some more stuff to show on Project Share. <laughs> I'll probably do some more as I work my scanning cut later on today. And I gotta figure out what we're gonna do tonight. I don't even know. Figure it out. Okay. Rubber cement is what I'm using. Rubber cement. I haven't used that since college. Rubber cement. I never heard of that before. That. <laughs> Fun stuff with the little brush, huh? You don't get clumps. I don't remember what it was even like using that rubber cement. Oh my gosh, what is this? I literally have to read what it says. Because here in the corner, it says I'm not Jewish. Which, that's not something bad to say. But... <sighs> so hard to determine if I want to use this page right now. Because it's like, why are you saying that? I guess it should be okay. I mean, I guess it's not bad to say I'm not Jewish. Like if somebody said, are you Jewish? I'd have to be like, no, I'm not Jewish. <laughs> I'm going to pass on that one. I don't, I don't know. It's just, I didn't think about this when I started making these. Um... And here's another way. Okay, you Jew boys. Okay, no. <sighs> okay, pass. What? I'm going to have to start using children's book or something. Because what is like... Okay, finally one that doesn't say anything offensive. I've had to read these. <laughs> Sorry, I could have just decorated them. And, but you know what? Mm-hmm. No. Just no. I'm going to have to be more careful next time I go to the thrift shop. Which will be soon because I need more books of different kinds. Now that I know that the Reader's Digest books are pretty much unusable. They're all weird, you guys. I don't know if you guys have read them. So far, all the ones I've opened up are weird. And I don't want to use their book pages, but I didn't know that. Everybody just talked about using them. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have looked at them. I don't know, but it bothers me. I don't need it. I don't want it, and I don't need it. <laughs> Like, 
like I said, there's one talk about diarrhea, and that's one thing. Okay, that's natural, I guess. <laughs> Some of these are just downright racist, and that's not cool. <laughs> that's so not cool. There's other books I could cut up. I could use their covers, I guess, but there's other books I could cut up. I don't need that stuff. Hi everybody, hi Carrie. Thank you, GG. Reminding everybody thumbs up. And if you guys like junk journals just as much as me, I go live pretty much every single day, Monday through Friday. And I even post a video on the weekends. So you guys can check me out, subscribe, and um, follow me on social media. I'll have all the links down below. Also, all the links I will have down below to the items that I used in this video. So I do appreciate your support. Oh my god, I need chapstick. Sorry, one second. I need a chapstick break. Okay, so I need to do the fancy stitching at the top. And I think I'm going to do these little stars that are really, really cute. They might break the paper, but they're adorable. <laughs> So, rounded edge. I don't have a rounded edge. Okay. So, you can be the flat. Let's see here. And for this paper, it's so thin. So, right? That's true. <laughs> I've been crafting all day. And... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Austin. I'm, I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> so I'm using, I'm going to be using stitch number 27 and I'm using it on the longest length and the widest width. And hopefully that helps me not rip the paper here. Here we go. Let's try it out. That's not a bad idea, Dakota, actually. That's not a bad idea. Ooh, I love those little stars. Look how nice that sewing machine makes those little stars. I love it. I love it. I don't know. I just don't think I need it. You know what I mean? Like... I think I just need to pay more attention when I buy the books. Don't need it. <laughs> I don't want to have to do stuff like that. Because that's not cool. Okay, so here is this right here. We could put her. That would be precious. And the zigzag, if I did it too close, it would just kill this paper. I know that's true. Okay, this has to stick here. And then I try to use the smallest amount of glue so that way it dries fast. There we go. Okay. We got it shut. And then we're going to put this little lady right there.
I think I'm going to want to start a new paper pad soon, but I'm going to make a bunch of journals next week and they're all going to pretty much be the paper pads that I've been working on all week, which if you have not followed me along, why haven't you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, I have been using some paper pads that I got a long time ago. It's been literally years. Where are they? Where did I put them? La 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 la. I know they're around somewhere. Oh my gosh, where are they? They disappeared. <laughs> I showed them last night and then I put everything away and now I don't see them anywhere. Okay, well, <laughs> they're also by Craftsmith. I also got them at Michael's and they're called Tea Party and Mint Pink. I know that much because I've been looking at them for so long now. I don't see them. Gosh darn it. Oh, wait, here they are. Oh my gosh. They're so thin now, they don't even look like paper pads. Okay, <laughs> so I've been using... Oops, let me get this in shot. I've been using uh, this paper pad, Mint Pink, and this one called Tea Party by Craftsmith for pretty much a month now. <laughs> I've just been kind of using them up and it finally comes time that I make journals out of them making I've been making everything but journals <laughs> okay so let me again let me read this it says okay 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 so here it says something bad we don't want that oh my gosh I'm not even going to read it out loud, but it's just not what I want in my books at all. Okay, so this one doesn't say anything bad on it. I went through all this trouble, and then I just finally noticed what they say. It's so not cool. Okay. So here's, <laughs> what am I doing with my life? I really need to pay more attention. Okay. So, here we go. Let's use a uh, stitching, straight stitch on the longest length. Wait, we're not in spot. Here we go. Here we go, that's where we're supposed to be. Well, gosh darn it. It's like, now I have to go back to the store and buy more books. Just can't use, I can't, I thought like the first one, it was like a little religious. I was like, okay, like I could still use these. Like just like not use the images maybe. And then it just got progressively worse. <laughs> like, bad. And now I'm kind of wary of all Reader Digest books. Okay, perfect. Here we go. So first I go around the perimeter like this, and then I do the same around the other side. I find that this is just faster than trying to make, trying to sew only the sides that sh actually show up when I fold it. I understand exactly what you're saying. I dismantled a Rush Limbaugh book to use a paper and cover, but I realize all the pages of the pages are all Republican this and Hillary. <laughs> Like, there's a certain demographic for that. That's not the demographic I am trying to reach in particular or focus on. I'm just trying to focus on people who like pretty things. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a statement <laughs> at all. This is just crafting. I'm not trying to make a political statement. Because other people do that. That's just not me. At least not on this channel. I'm just kidding. 
not on Fridays. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we have this. Oh, what is this talking about? Something about killing her. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> guess I'll let that slide. So let's get the fancy stitch. We'll get the fancy stitch on over here. And let's do what are we going to do? I like this stitch. It's number 50. It's kind of like a bone stitch. And I always use a minimum of two lengths. And the width. I don't know. I'm using five for this one. And I do, I know I need to open this thing up and um, clean it inside of it. I did see how to do it. I know, Dakota. I know, I know. It's okay. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I can paint. Maybe I can gesso them. Nah, you know what? No. <laughs> I'm not even going to do that. It's okay. I'll just go get more. And let's see, maybe this little shoe. That would be cute. Or let's put this little purse because that would be adorable. I just blow it out compressed air laziness. Ah. Uh, I saw, well, in, in my defense, I've only seen one video, but the video that I saw, she said that she doesn't do that because it just, like, blows the dust back into spaces where you can't get it. That's what she said. She kind of just goes in it with the little brush. I'll have to do that soon, I think. But the videos that I seen said that it was self-oiling, so you don't have to oil it. So that's great. So let's put this little envelope here together. I try not to use too much glue. This is a pretty strong bond, so I don't need that much. And there's that one. Love it. Okay, so let me go ahead and clip this together. Okay, so on to the last one. I think I already looked at this one. <laughs> okay, okay. So, let's do this here. Okay, here we go. Wait. Wait, it's on the fancy stitch. <laughs> we need the straight stitch on the longest setting. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me put 
And how is the weather where you guys are at? How's the weather? I need to know. Are you guys where it's all cold? That crazy, uh, what do they call it? Arctic vortex or something? <laughs> that sounds so crazy. You refuse to go outside. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> I'm in Las Vegas. Polar vortex. Sorry, Teresa. <laughs> I'm in Las Vegas, so it's not affecting us at all. It's like 60 degrees today. Which, of course, to me, anything below 70 is cold to me. <laughs> so I'm in long sleeves, and I got my little boots on because my feet are cold. <laughs> Seventeen degrees? No. Just how about no? <laughs> That's nuts. I don't know how cold it has to be to snow, but I've only been in that much cold for a little bit of time. Okay. So now we gotta do a fancy stitch on this one. And let's do that star again because it was just so pretty. I grew up in the desert and that's and it's awful. Well it did get to like 38 this year. I think that was the coldest I saw it. It was pretty chilly. The month of December was pretty cold. It might have been that I'm in a little trailer and it's not, it doesn't have the best insulation. So maybe it was a tiny bit colder in here. <laughs> okay, so we got this done here. Now we want to get an image on there and have a bunch of these little collages that I made last week. I can use this one. I can't do hot weather. Well, I don't know. My sister lives in Texas and everybody there swears it's like better weather. But it's terrible because it's so humid. So I can do heat because, you know, I'm just indoors all the time. My dad works outdoors. I think that's crazy, but he does it. <laughs> I could not do that. I don't spend much time outdoors, so it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me. We used to wear shorts and tanks all year long, except maybe 10 days out the cold. Yeah, it's not... Like I said, it was maybe like two weeks that it was cold, and that was it. It didn't really get that cold at all this year. So I have a bunch of succulents and I don't have to worry about them during the winter time. Which is nice. Because <laughs> other people have to bring them indoors and everything because it gets too cold for them. Okay, so here's this little envelope. And I'm going to Put it together with these clips over here. Okay, so let me show you. These are the little envelopes that I made. Oop, this one needs a haircut. Let me get them taken out of their clips. They are looking really cute. I used um, I used some little uh, embellishments that I made last week. Really, really cute and tiny. And they worked out really perfectly for these small envelopes. Okay, so let's see what else I have to do. I have a bunch of those to do, but I don't want to bore you guys too much with that. <laughs> I want to give you a little bit of what I have all on my table, which is a lot. 
so far that was like six envelopes so that's a good stash to get done <laughs> in an hour <laughs> i don't even know how that took an hour you love succulents well then you should follow me on instagram i post all my little succulents i need to post a video an update video on my succulents on my youtube video this year i did post like two succulent related videos last year and i could probably do an update for them i have a I have, kind of have an obsession right now with buying succulents. It's terrible. I belong to these succulent Facebook groups. Oh, it's so addicting. You can just buy a succulent while you're just, like, looking at everything else. <laughs> it's just accidentally, you know? It just happens. <laughs> Tsunami Rose Designs on Instagram. Tsunami Rose Designs. Okay, so I have these... Uh, tags to finish up. I made these live also last week, I guess. I don't even know when. Um, and I got that idea for this layout from somebody on Instagram. And I'll link, uh, I'll have my links down below to everybody who watches this after it's live. Um, but on Instagram, I am Tsunami Rose Designs, and you can follow me. And um, I, I follow this user called Mags Pie. And she posted these awesome tags that she made. And I asked her if I can, uh, the Mags Pie, that's her name. And I want it, oh no, the Mags, the Gypsy Mags Pie. I'll have to look her up. And I'll leave a link to her down below. But I asked her if I could use her layout and she said, yeah. So I made these tags last week. And I'm going to, I'm, I have a lot of them to do. I have, I don't know, this many to do. <laughs> so yay me. So let's see, what was I going to do? I think I was going to like separate them into colors I was going to use. I think these were all going to be brown. And these were all going to be, I don't even know what, what these were supposed to be. Okay, so I know I had them separated into colors that I wanted to do, but now I don't even know what's what. <laughs> I have no idea what's what. But I'm going to try, I'm going to do a bunch of them in brown because I think they would look pretty in brown. And maybe the rest I'll do in red. Okay, so I'm only going to do a couple of them because I don't want to bore you guys again. I'm going to do maybe like probably a dozen of them. I just have so many of them to pick from. I got them started. <laughs> okay, so let me get the brown thread out. So one moment. While I do the little change here. And I think I'm going to use, I have different colored browns, slightly variation on the browns, I should say. This is more like a vintage brown color. Oops, I didn't show it on screen. Okay, so let me get this on here and make sure that it's not going to get stuck. That's the most annoying thing. <sighs> My thread is stuck. I don't, you know what? I don't even want to deal with it. Let's just use the regular brown. <laughs> Let's just use regular old brown. It's just this dark brown thread. And give me one moment. Just got to thread it. Take a little seat pack and put it on the back. Oh, and I used um, set number 23 from my store for these. It's ephemera set number 23. Okay, so let me get this bottom part here. I know, this is the most exciting part of the video. I just need to get my brown thread. It's somewhere. Okay, here's some of it. 
I'll probably go through this really fast. Oh, and I have to take my, I need my bag of laces. But first, let's just do the part around. I want six of them. And let's see, we'll use this one. Oh, and I wanted to do this one, so we'll do seven. I want to do all of them. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Well, they just work so perfectly with these cards. Um, the I printed these out four pages on one. So you can definitely print them out on different sizes. And that's what makes these so nice. And I have a couple sets of them, actually. But I know specifically this one is set number 23. And let me just post that on here. And we'll just hit paint. paint. Okay, so first I need to do a border around the whole image. And I'm going to do that using just a, a zigzag stitch. Let me get my sewing machine here in order. I'm trying to get my lamp on. Maybe I can make it brighter. Okay. So. And I'm going to sew around the edge here. So I want number 20. I want a uh, stitch number 4. Which is my preferred uh, zigzag stitch. And I'm going to use a length of 2 and a width of 4. Here we go. soon so that I can do the other part of this. I ordered two mystery boxes and the digital words. Oh, thank you, Dakota. I'm going to get those mystery boxes out soon. I just got to get some work done on them first. But I'm working as I do other stuff. I'm working on them. <laughs> I have my scanning cut right next to me. Going at full speed all day. <laughs> Ooh, that's wrong. It's supposed to be over here. There we go. Okay, so let's do all of these before I do the the lace just quickly. thank everybody who's joining me right now live um i do go live monday through friday at 9 p.m pacific standard time if you guys want to join me at that time sometimes random randomly sporadically i will go live uh during the afternoons pacific standard time uh just to do some odd end work <laughs> on stuff this brown is so dark, it almost looks black, but I love it. It's so pretty. I 
what you're doing this afternoon because I'm on the east. Yes, I'm trying. <laughs> Once in a while I have work done or I think of a new idea and I just want to do it. Then I'll go live. And, you know, sometimes I don't have time. But I can get to it once in a while, sometimes a week. I could get on that. But I do post on my Facebook group when I am local live during the week. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, you should be. Let me get you the link to that real quick. Here is the link to my Facebook group. And here is where I post usually about an hour beforehand or two. I'll post when I'm going to go live. Other than that, I'm here at 9 p.m. You can always catch the replay. And I have lots and lots of other videos you can catch up on. <laughs> um, on the weekends, I do post a project share where I kind of do like a recap of what I made during the week. So if you don't get to catch any of the lives, you can still see what I am up to. Or what I've been doing or what I did that week. Next week, I am going to get started on a new junk journal. So do stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to be using the paper pad that I have been using pretty much all month. I've been preparing pretty much to make this junk journal. Making all the ephemera for it pretty much. And it's been a lot of fun. Pretty much like I said, it took a whole month. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It snapped out my thread. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It just does that sometimes. It gets mad. It gets real mad. So. Are you guys crafting along? Or what are y'all doing? I know Angela's lurking. <laughs> She's still here. She's lurking. And I think Dakota said she was cleaning. <laughs> I love making junk journals. I have to finish ephemeral for our baby junk journal. Oh, that sounds cute. That sounds precious. You're lurking too. Hey, that's cool. Thanks for checking us out. Checking us. Checking me out. Oh my god, who else is here? It's just me and my cat. <laughs> he counts too, I suppose. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say on my taxes. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so I just stitched all around here. Now I'm watching my son <laughs> try to feed the dog Legos. It's a good source of vitamin A, I hear. Okay, so where is my lace scrap bag? Oh my goodness. Okay, there it is. I see it. Okay, so I see my lace scrap scissors. A bunch of them. It's a gallon sized bag of scraps. Oh my goodness. I'm making a unicorn mini album for our granddaughter's third birthday. How cute. I saw a unicorn paper pad at Michael's yesterday. It's on sale. Oops, I touched my lamp. <laughs> okay. So let's see what lace we will use. I'm trying not to, um, nice. That's really great to just have hanging out. One moment, let me put that away. 
somewhere safe. I'm just trying to see what kind of lace I have. Oops, I know this one was a favorite of mine. So I could use that one. I think I'm going to sew them as I go because otherwise it's going to get a little crazy over here. And I really did like to use this one too. So let me use some more of this one. It doesn't have to be that wide at all. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and move this over. Oh my god, I thought there was like a cockroach or something that came out, but it was, <laughs> it was just this piece of lace. But it really like slid, slithered out. It's <laughs> it really did slither out. <laughs> okay, so let's use a straight stitch here. So that's what I like to use for these laces as long as possible. And I'm just going to put this one right here towards the bottom. Oops. I gotta put it in the paper. There we go. I know, so much lace, so little time. You know? That's true. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of gold trim above that. Just a little bit of gold. And I guess I could backstitch on this. That might be a good idea. <laughs> I need to print my pages out, but I have to go to the basement office, and I don't want to. <laughs> you don't even want to deal with that today, huh? Not today, she says. Okay, so this looks real cute with all these two, with these two different laces there. I can dig it. So let's do the next one. Oh, and I made my lamp brighter, and I don't think it needed to be brighter. <laughs> okay, it happens. Things happen. Ooh, this one could look cute with some pink lace. Because of the green, it would look really nice and contrasty. I don't think that's a word. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not a word. Okay, so it's two pieces, two pieces. What sewing machine are you using? Hello, Trish. Okay, so the sewing machine that I use is the Brother Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125PRW. That is my sewing machine of choice. Let me do my Vanna White fingers. <laughs> and I got it at Walmart like last summer I think um and it has served me really well I like it thumbs up I have, I have to do my review for it because I've had it for so long but I, I think it's a really good machine and it has a lot of um, cool stitches. So that's what I like the most about it. They don't have it on Amazon, so I can't link that. Oh, I forgot to backstitch on the other side. Um, I can't link it because they don't have it on Amazon. They have like a refurbished one. They have the older models too. So if you want to check out the older models, they're on there as well. I'm just trying to backstitch here. Like I should have. <laughs> I need to clean my desk so I can actually work after <laughs> I make dinner. 
You literally can't see the top. That's what my other desks in my room look like. So don't feel bad. You're, we are in the same boat here. I was just telling Dakota, like, I'm just spoiled enough that I leave one desk <clears throat> available for my live videos. And so <laughs> it's clean, but I can't use any other desk in my office. And I have three desks. <laughs> And I could not use them right now if I wanted to. Okay, I'm going to try and get this to be straight so it's going to be hard. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to get in the sewing machine here where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let me back stitch just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm kind of trying to pull it so that it is nice and even. But of course that never happens. Oh, 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 backstitch. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot. <laughs> it's a little crooked, but you know what? That's okay. It's okay. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how I went so wrong at the end, but it did. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. I have three workspaces, all junky, working on 13 itches. <laughs> oh, I can't say I haven't been there. I'll say I have because I have. <laughs> I think we can all relate. I think you will find <laughs> that we can all relate to that. <laughs> okay, I think I want to put this little patch of this material down. Because I think it'd make it a little bit interesting. Just this little mesh. And then I can use this. Uh little lace piece right there and then oh wait no I could just do this so we'll do this right here and then we'll do these little flowers going across that would be pretty okay let's see if we could do it all at one time If you go on the Brother website, it will show you where to buy whatever one you're looking for. Well, there you go. There you go. So that's sewing through that perfectly. Oh, wait. No, it's not because. Because why? Because am I out of bobbin? Because I'm out of bobbin. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. And I think the other ones I have are. Oh, here's one. Ooh, I just happen to have another brown bobbin. Yay. Yay. Okay, so let's keep the party going. Okay, the party keeps on trucking. Okay, here we go. I gotta start this all over again, and which is fine because I forgot to backstitch. <laughs> I just realized right now I didn't backstitch. I'm really trying to, especially when I'm not gonna glue the item down. It's like I need to remember to backstitch. And I realize that now. <laughs> I see. Okay, here we go. Let me sew one more line, actually. 
probably right there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Oop, I forgot the back stitch at the end. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what y'all want from me. <laughs> I can only remember to backstitch half half the time, you guys. <laughs> only about 50% of the time. <laughs> okay, so we have this other tag now. And we could use the pink with it. I also have other pink pieces. Nah, let's use this. And I think we're going to finally use this piece up here. Okay. Very well then. Let me sew this bottom part first. I don't like it to flip up. I don't like the lace to flip up. So I do sew it once. And then this lace can go right here. Looking all pretty. Here is this tag right here. Pretty, pretty tag. And again, I don't like to, I don't like it to flip up too much. Just a little bit is okay. <laughs> okay, on to the next one here. And I have a mess of all these strings here. Okay. So, let's see, that one's red. I do have a little bit of red trim here. That would look really pretty. And you know what? The gold trim would look really cute here too. Where is it? Here it is. A little bit of gold trim. Hit it up with some of that. Okay, this is going to just look so lovely. I could just tell. Let me get it up on the sewing machine. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Just like that. Okay. So let me just cut off the extra. And then I gotta do this gold trim here. That would just look so pretty. Doesn't isn't that special right here? Isn't that special? Mm-hmm. It is special. That looks so pretty with the little gold shimmer. I don't know if you could see that on screen. It just ha it just has a teeny tiny little gold shimmer. It's so beautiful. Okay, so let's go to the next one, which is this one right here. This one doesn't have a... Uh, hi, Laura. Uh, this one doesn't have a lot of florals on it, but that's okay. It's still beautiful in its own special way. <laughs> Let me see what I have that'll go with it, though. Of course, I'm looking through my stash here, but it's such a mess. I don't want to show it on camera. <laughs> it's just so much stuff that's just randomly in here. 
I don't even know why, but it is. It's just this huge thing. Okay, we can use some of this beige. I don't think I have any brown or gold. I don't think so. Let me see. Just some white. Okay, it'll look fine with the white. Let's put this all back. Such a mess. <laughs> Such a big old mess. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I wanted to put this weiss white weiss. <laughs> this white lace. If you want to say it in one word, you could say weiss. <laughs> weiss means white lace, of course. So let's see if we can merge these together here. Actually, let me not risk it. Let me do the white trim first. Just in case it's not... <laughs> it's, I don't get it done right. I don't have to do this twice, even though I am doing it twice right now. But that's okay. Okay, there we go. And now, this beige trim on top. Just to be safe. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So now I just gotta trim, trim the laces up, also the strings. And that one looks really pretty. Okay, last brown one before we move on to do the other tags of the other color. <clears throat> okay, so, oh, I have this, let's see, oops, sorry, I touched the camera. Let me see, what do I have here? Just going through all my laces. I have this brown, no, it's too wide. Oh, uh, here is this light brown something of some sort and then we can use the gold where's the gold where's that gold oh no we could use this okay we'll use that okay so I just decided I'm gonna use this brown thread brown thread brown lace oh my gosh get it to Together. Okay, brown lace <laughs> here. So let me just stitch that on. <sighs> Excuse me. Here we go. Perfect. Now I'm just trimming it. I don't know if I'm on camera or not. Whoops. Okay, so let's do this, these flowers here. I think I three of them fit. Okay. Just trying to work these on the card here. And I'm going to use a zigzag stitch for these because they need to be held down just a little bit more. Like charm. Hi there. Thank you for sharing your amazing creations and entertaining us representing in the UK. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, I have fun with you guys interacting with me. Otherwise, I'd kind of be pro pretty much quiet. <laughs> so this little lace tag looks so pretty right now. It kind of makes me want to cover a tag with all lace. That might be a project to do. <laughs> okay, so I got these six cards done. And I think I have enough time to do another six cards before I call it uh, uh, done for this live. 
So let me see what else I could do. I could probably do the rest of these in brown and they would still look pretty. Let me do, <clears throat> yeah, we'll do these in brown also. So let's just keep on trucking. We're gonna use a zigzag stitch to go around the image. First, that's what we do first. Get this over here. I'm off to cook dinner. Thank you for the great work. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have time, join me tonight, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're around, if not, I'll have a new video this weekend. Thank you, thank you for joining me, though. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Dakota. You know what else I've been wanting to do? I know I have a couple of napkins. So I really want to do the whole napkin transfer onto items. I saw Gail. I think she did it on cardstock. So if she did it on cardstock, it just makes me wonder what else I could do that on. Then it would look pretty. You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Makes me want to try that out. I need an app, girl. You and me. I was just thinking that in the back of my head. I'm like, oh man. I'm getting tired. You read my mind. Definitely read my mind. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get done here soon and I can go take a nap. <laughs> that's, um, a, that's too funny. Thank you for all you do. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Trish. You do too. You have a great weekend. Transfer napkins onto great juice stained paper. That sounds interesting. Gives me an excuse to buy cheap grapefruit juice or grape juice. That sounds pretty actually. Sounds real pretty. Was it just regular paper or did you use cardstock? I want to know. Printer paper, I died. Oh, okay. Did you use a certain type of grape juice or just like the cheapest stuff you could find? Because I would imagine maybe like dollar store grape juice might be good for that. It's probably all colorant. <laughs> okay, I got one more of these tags to do. Before I get the lace on them and then I'm going to be done for today. Well, I'm going to go live tonight, but I'll be done for today, <laughs> for the daytime <laughs> live. Okay, this last part right here. Generic, yeah, that's what I thought. That's like, that was my first thought, I'm like, probably from the dollar store. I had a feeling... This juice is expensive at the grocery store. 
I don't buy any, but I see it. Okay, so we got all our tags done now with the border around the image. And so now we got to put the lace on them, of course. So again, I'm going through my bag here. No, I don't like that. I'm just going through all my stuff. I guess I like that. And what can we put on top of this? No. No, no, no. What else do I have? Ooh, this would be pretty. Oh, but I want to do like a... Is there like a dark brown? I guess this is something. I don't know what this is, but it's something. Oh, it's so thick. I don't know if my stuff will sew through that, actually. Huh. Let's see if it'll work. <laughs> We're about to find out. <clears throat> beet juice. Beet juice. Do they have that at the dollar store, though? Beet juice. Beets are really cheap. I mean, it, I guess it wouldn't be a hassle. Beets are really cheap. I remember my mom used to always make us these like weird vegetable juices and shakes. I remember beet tastes like dirt. <laughs> And it still does. Even as an adult, when I've had beets, I'm like, oh, this tastes like dirt. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a straight stitch for this one. Oh, it went off. It went off. Oh, no. It went off. There we go. There we go. That worked. I have the juice from a can of beets. That's a good idea. Thank you for the tip. Thank you for the tip on that. Because that's cheap at the dollar store. And that would be less. Definitely less mess than trying to get my own beet juice. <laughs> that sounds crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to squeeze out some beet juice. Because I don't have a juicer. <laughs> So that might be a little difficult for me to figure out how to get juice out of beets. Okay, what all stuff do I have? Oh my goodness. Just going through my lace stash right now. See what I can pull out. Oh, this does have a little bit of blue in the background actually. So let's go with that because that makes this look a little bit more interesting. And let's do a little bit of this gold trim there on top. Because that would be pretty. There's stretch everywhere. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's supposed to be this way. And we're going to do a straight stitch. And then this gold trim over here. And again, also, I'm going to use a straight stitch on that. I think that just would be the easiest thing to do. Like that. Juice from a can. <laughs> okay. That one's done, that one's done. Let's do this one right here. So I can use pink. Ooh, and I can use the blue too because it has blue in the background also. So I can use up this other scrap. Okay. Okay. 
Oh no, it kind of blends together and it doesn't look very cute. <laughs> Let me do beige on top. Some sort of, oh yeah, this trim is nice. It's a little messed up over here, but that's okay. Okay. So let's get this part here sewn on. So this little blue color is really pretty. And let's see here. We're also going to just use a straight stitch on this. The Gypsy Max Pie. I gotta, I'll leave her link down below. It. She's the person that inspired this layout, and I said that I would give her credit and that I would, if I could use her layout, and she said sure. So I'll leave a link to her down in the description box below. Also, I'm going to leave a link down below to all the items that I have been using so far in this live um, that I could find, of course, to link up in my Amazon affiliates list. So if you do purchase anything from there, it is greatly appreciated. I also have down there all the equipment that I use for my video and for my audio and to go live. Um, oops, I recently posted a video on how I, what equipment I use to go live. So if you're interested in that, there's that video that you guys can look forward to. Why is this not sewing? Whoa, okay, just got it done. <laughs> that took forever. I wonder if red wine would work. I have heard people dying you with red wine. I have heard that. They do it with Kool-Aid. I don't see why not with wine. So that looks pretty. It's just a different little combo color. So I love the look. And um, thank you everybody again for watching. I do go live Monday through Friday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you want to join me at uh, for those lives. Sometimes I go live during the afternoon. Um, when I do, I do post it on my Facebook group. Other links will be down below. Um, I have three more tags to do before I am done for today, before I come back live tonight. <laughs> So, I do hope you join me for that. Let me do this color here because I kind of like this. It's a weird material. I don't even know what this is for, but it's pretty. And let me just do just one of these. Huh? Yeah, just one of these. It's a little busted, but it's okay. You can bring it back to life. It's okay. <laughs> okay, let me put this one down first. And if you have any questions, you can always post the in the comments down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Sometimes people have questions about things that I use. It makes you use weird stuff in the kitchen after you drink it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Start exploring with different things. That's funny. This is a little wide, so oops, I forgot. I'm going to stitch it in different places. Make sure that goes on like that. Okay, so let's do this part here. I like how I was trying to do the back stitch in the beginning and now I just like, I'm like, whatever. Like I said, what kind of sicko goes around pulling strings? <laughs> like, don't pull the strings. You don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, so I've got two more to do. Uh, one more after this one. Let's see what we're going to do. We can just keep keeping it simple. Oh, 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 I know. I know. We use this gold again. I've been, like, really into those gold lace. And let 
let me get this lace on here. little gold piece up here because that would look pretty. Oh, I already cut it. I knew I had. I thought that was weird. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, here we go. Woof. Woof. It wasn't on the paper enough. I have to like get it on the paper. Oh my goodness. So aggressive. Good night, Julie. We will see you next time. I need a nap myself. I'm going to go take a nap right after I'm done with this. That's not even a lie. I'm not even going to front. I am sleepy. <laughs> okay, so we got one more to do. This is the last of the last of the last. And so... Oops. Or my hairs or something. Okay. So we got that. And then we're going to hit it with this beige. And it's going to look real cute. Real cute. Okay, here we go. This goes right there. Let's sew this together. Straight stitch, of course. The best stitch is the straight stitch. Okay. So cut off the sides. And here is the last piece that needs to go on here. <clears throat> okay. We are all done with my crafty hour for the afternoon. I do want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. And if you have time, I hope you join me tomorrow at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you don't have time, then you can watch the replay. Here is what we did today. Put some nice lace on some beautiful cards here. Made about a dozen of these. I already had the images on there, so that was half the work. Again, that's a camera set number 23. I'll leave the link down below. I also got some envelopes done. Let me show those off to you before I log off. Some really, really cute envelopes that we got all stitched up all the way around. And I embellished using some of the embellishments that I made last week. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this crafty hour this afternoon. I will see you guys tonight at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you're around. If not, check out my channel, subscribe. I do post pretty much a video every single day. I go live Monday through Friday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will see you guys tonight. Peace out, you guys. Have a good day.